What's up, it's me, Mr. B, and we about to get crazy! I'm playing with my friend, B-Down. He's my childhood friend. He, he don't have much experience on this game, but he plays. And I'm going to show you a new build. Well, not a new build, but, you know, this is called the Gin Jockey. Now, if you have a couple players like how I normally play with you, this build is awesome. Legit. Alright, so we use Premonition to kind of get a sense if the killer is coming towards us, or you can use Premonition at the beginning of the game to find the killer. And once you find the killer and you're in their terror radius, your Detective Tap perk is going to get some, um, get some love. And then you'll be able to, all these, uh, good skill checks you're hitting will become great. We're also using another Detective Tap perk. Which is for when we finish a generator, you actually get to see, you're about to see now, all the ores of everything on the map. Which is strong if they have a hex ruin. And you can go right through hex ruin with your um, stakeout. Stakeout is the one at the top that just has a one on it right now. But what stakeout does is you'll hit great skill checks instead of good skill checks it turns them into greats which will destroy a hex ruin if you find the killer and you get like two or if you get like four stacks or even two or three stacks you can pretty much do a generator with no problem with ease and that um i tried to take the hit for this person this guy is a tunneling little asshole that's all i've seen all day so when you combine the two detective pat tap perks you can get through a generator, then find out where all the locations are for where ruin could possibly be, then just go around and break all the totems. If you have a good team. Now, the prove thyself, that's why that first generator, initial generator, got done so fast, because that gives all my allies um, quicker, um, I'm, they do generators quicker, in other words. So, I'm still getting my detective tap uh stacks it's at three now it will be a four soon if the killer if i stay in the killer's terror radius and then that's four great skill checks automatic as long as you hit your good skill checks which really isn't hard to do and the premonition helps me I, i'm potato i cannot look around or i will slow speed if i don't run anywhere but in a straight line i lose speed if i run diagonal to try to juke the killer i go down speed same way with my killer because my controller's a bitch. But anyways, that's the, the loadout I'm using. You can also use spine chill, which will help you get the generator done faster. But I prefer premonition. Now, at higher ranks, this build would be great. But right now, the killers I'm facing with Brandon since he's Oh, well, be down since he's um, got such a, he's really high in rank is really baby killers that just want to tunnel and camp and try to kill you as quick as, kill one person at a time as quick as possible but if you had two people that play like I usually play here's I don't think prove thyself helps here because the leader helps here, but um, prove thyself helps with generators, which is what this build is all about. Now, you see how my number's going down? I'm hitting great skill checks. Watch your healing go up even faster. So I thought she was done, but she's not. But that's good because I wanted to get a great skill check on that. I didn't want to waste it on that last part. But watch how fast this generator actually gets done. But that's okay because uh, generators get done really fast with this build. That's what it's about. If you have two people, like, you know when I'm running the killer around like I normally do, which I could probably get six to seven generators done if I was playing by myself. If someone like me was running the killer around, 
If you have two people running D strike with your you know, you know your metal man and your borrowed time, and they just work together while two other people are using this build, you're gonna destroy killers. Like it's really hard to get this build to work. Uh, look, we're at um, three people dead, or one person dead, three people left, and there's still two generators left. There was three, but someone popped a generator. Thankfully. And it, it's really hard at this point. Once someone's dead, it's really hard to bounce back from that. Especially against someone that's going to, um, that just very try hard on killing the first person. We're lucky to have gotten three generators done so early. Because this person plays pretty freaking toxic. And I don't have the right build for being chased the whole game. If I did and they had my build, the one I'm using now, this game would have been over. Because I would have been looping the shit out of this killer, this baby killer, as you can see the way they play and their strategies. Which I don't mind how you play. You play how you want. If this is how you have to get kills, by God, you do it. But this build is really strong. This is a gin jockey build. Um, it's not my play style. I'm not really the gin jockey type. I'm more of the like the waste the killer's time type of player. That's just how I play, how it makes me have fun. And I enjoy the game like that. But if you have other people, if you guys, if you coordinate two people like me with two people that can do the gin jockey build, that are good at hitting skill checks anyways, this is going to be pretty, um, you're going to be a pretty overpowered team. Now I gotta go from being the gen jockey to the person that the killer chases the rest of the fucking match with no good perks. And I'm injured. Which sucks. And I got caught on that. Luckily they're potato. Alright, but I looped them long enough to get another generator done. I don't want to run because I know what they have. And I heard them right behind me, so I just dropped that. Alright, so this killer's just wanting to get uh, mind games going on, which, okay, let's do the mind games. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're gonna keep mind gaming. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of time wasted on you with no good perks. This is not the play. Should be kicking these pallets down immediately. They're not, they're not, um, they're safe pallets. Uh, you're not going to get me on a safe pallet, buddy. So I start walking a little bit so they quit hearing my foot, well, quit seeing my scratch marks. I'll go ahead and smack her. I should have teabagged, really, the way this bitch has been playing. She probably thinks the same thing about me. And I thought it was that Jenny, so I'm going to go this way. I think they kicked that Jenny. Uh, that's how I got away. But, that's how you counter the spirit, I guess. But yeah, this is a strong build. I mean, there's only three of us left. I didn't expect all of us to get out. But, if it wasn't such a baby killer, maybe it had been better. And we had uh, an experienced team, you know? All, everybody on comm. Survivor Friends is definitely more powerful. But it was a good game, I think. We, uh, we did a pretty good job so far <laughs> no ed. yep and we got no ed which detectives hunch would have been perfect for but I didn't have time to use it because she killed off one of my teammates almost near the beginning of the game not very long into the game this was a rather short game we got the generators done quick even with one person being killed off almost immediately and this person's just going to camp, so, you know, it is what it is. It's not very fun facing baby killers, but if I had my other build, I'm sure I'd had a lot more fun this game. Because she would have hit me with my, uh, with that, I would have had bar time and stuff like that. Stuff to help my friend out, stuff to 
help the other people but if you had a good balance like you had two people using the build I usually run with this build you're probably gonna knock out generators fast and everybody's gonna survive that's why I'm putting this build up there and I had another match I forgot to freaking record where everybody got out and the generators got done it was a seven minute game <laughs> it wasn't very long and it was against Michael Myers so it wasn't like I could really get my detective hunch or not hunch but um, what is it? Stakeout? I couldn't get my stakeout points very easily. Because you gotta be in the terror radius and Michael Myers don't have much. But I figured I'd show you guys this um this build and I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoy the video. It's a it's a good build to run if you have a couple trolls on your team.